Gentlemen, as a man, testosterone is going to give you such an unfair advantage in life. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five different ways you can naturally boost your testosterone. There's no need to run to Big Pharma. Big Pharma right now is prescribing more testosterone boosters, more human growth hormones than ever before. They're cashing in on something that nature and God provided to you naturally. Why not learn to tap in and manipulate your own testosterone to get the highest performance both in and outside the bedroom. I'm about to drop it for you. Hi, my name is Nikola Daz and I help men master their S3X energy so you can become a powerhouse both in and outside the bedroom. Make sure you go and take the free S3X transmutation guide to start your journey in mastering your masculine energy. Because as a man, when you master your testosterone, when you master your hormones, when you master your S3X energy, you master your life. As I mentioned at the beginning, Big Pharma's cashing in right now on men being at low T levels. In fact, right now on the planet, we've got a plummet in testosterone levels, a plummet in sperm, a spike in men experiencing erectile dysfunction, pornography addiction, premature ejaculation. There's so many challenges men are having. And of course, men are experiencing depression like never before. And that is showing up in all areas of their life. Your ability to be a great husband, a great father, a great lover, a great community member, a great statesman or, or leader, all of that is affected. So use what I'm about to share with you. And if you're really interested in taking your life to a whole new level, make sure you also go to the links in the description below and book a time with me on my calendar because inside of my powerhouse man training, I go through an entire training process on how to manipulate your testosterone in a positive way, as well as an entire training process on how to transmute your S3X energy and create the business and lifestyle that you want. All right. Number one way to increase your testosterone is to increase the quality and quantity of sleep. Now, quantity only at the beginning quantity of sleep because most people don't get good sleep. Uh, if you're a person that's got insomnia, if you're up all night, if you are playing video games till late in the, in the evening, you will have trouble sleeping. And so to counteract that, you're going to have to sleep more. Now, overall, the guys that I work with, they're able to reduce their sleep to about six hours, if not less, per night and maybe take a few naps. The point is, is quality sleep is what needs to be there. Now, the reason this works to naturally boost your testosterone is because testosterone is mainly produced while you're sleeping. And by the way, if you're thinking, what are all the benefits of like having high testosterone um, that are not so obvious? I did another video called Testosterone Benefits. I'm sure we can leave the link in the description and you can uh, go and check that video after to dive deeper into some of the science and benefits. So I'm going to assume that you're already sold out on why you want to boost your testosterone and I'm just giving you strategies to naturally do it. So the first thing is increase the quality of sleep and at first that means maybe increasing the quantity of sleep. I know I take more sleep when I am working out harder. I generally take more sleep when I do leg day because leg day really wipes me out. And it also, uh, leg day is one of the best uh, days to boost your testosterone because it puts your body under the most stress. And one of the other ways to naturally boost your testosterone, so number two, is to put your body under stress by working out. Now, any kind of heavy lifting, any kind of working out uh, with weights is going to boost your testosterone. But specifically, if you uh, focus on compound exercises, and this is something I've recently shift, uh, shifted in my own workouts and I'm seeing tremendous results just here in the last few weeks, which is shifting to compound, meaning heavy weight, then immediately after a body weight or a light weight. So yesterday I was doing my arms, biceps. So I was lifting heavy on the bicep curl. And then soon as I was done that, I would take two 20 pound weights and do ton of reps small. So compound compound exercises where you're doubling up heavy 
and then either body weight or light weights. This triggers your body or puts your body into a state where it's under pressure and your body is then triggered to produce HGH, human growth hormone, which is not, which is a natural substance that your body uh, uh, produces. Remember, if you decide to go the big pharma route, first of all, if you decide to go down steroids, you, I'm sure you're smart enough to know there's a ton of problems there. Your body can naturally produce steroid-like um, uh, results. Now, are you ever going to be the liver king? No, I wouldn't recommend it because that guy's going to have a ton of problems anyways. We can already see that. Not only does he, he's going to have a ton of health problems, but he's going to have a ton of problems, which he's already having because he's a liar. And therefore, that always comes back to bite you. So the last pillar in the Kali Yug, meaning the current age we live in for uh, keeping yourself above water, not falling into total distress and anxiety and worry is simply to be truthful, okay? Uh, and anyways, that's a big philosophical discussion for another video. Point is, do it the right way. Don't go for the quick fix. Do it the right way. Think long term. So number one, increase your quality increase the quality of sleep and by the way to increase the quality of sleep just to give you some ideas around there is one of the reason that many people can't get to sleep is because actually it has nothing to do they think oh i'm going to go to sleep it's now time for bed but actually if you want to prepare for good sleep it starts with how you wake up in the morning remember everything is connected everything you do during the day is compounding into your life results so the first way to get to bed early is to get up early and that means yeah you're probably going to be dead tired you're probably going to suffer through a couple days of feeling groggy and tired it is worth it to reset yourself into a proper sleep rhythm the second thing to do is to write a journal or keep a to-do list one of the main reasons people uh, tell me that they can't fall asleep is that by time they go to bed, then all of a sudden their little voice starts going off and starts chirping about them about all their worries, anxieties, or they can't get their mind to fall asleep. That's a symptom of two things. One, you're overstimulated during the day and you haven't used your energy up. So therefore now it's time to sleep and you're full of energy. You didn't do enough through, during the day. You were probably in a state of inertia. You were probably watching too much Netflix, sitting around. This gives us our. Uh, this is why exercise is so important as well. Exercise is going to help you get better sleep because your body is going to want you to go to sleep so it can repair you. Remember, you get more testosterone, and your hormones are essentially uh, working at their best when you're sleeping. Testosterone is mainly produced when you're sleeping, and when you go to sleep, it's time for your body to repair, restore, and rebuild. This is where you're going to get the most muscle growth. Remember, you don't get muscle growth in the gym. The gym is where you tear your muscles up. It's when you sleep that those muscles begin to grow. So if you go to the gym or you're doing all this exercise, but you are uh, negating good sleep, you're essentially eliminating all the work you've put in during the day. Another tip for getting good sleep is to eliminate uh, all blue light. So television, your laptop, your cell phones, put that si stuff aside at least an hour before bed, get into bed and read and read something light. Generally, when I read within a two, three, four pages, I'm like, whoa, oh, all right. Boom, put the I have a Kindle and I just set the Kindle to, to have it like um, where it's uh, not that bright light and I put it aside and I'm gone. All right. Getting good sleep is so important. Exercising and specifically focusing on compound exercises. If you already have a gym routine, then great. Make it compound to increase your testosterone levels. Specifically, if you're not exercising al already, get to exercising. All right. Hand in hand with sleep and the gym is the third step. Clean diet. Clean diet, it really, clean diet essentially means eliminating crap from your diet. So avoid processed sugars, avoid manufactured fats, carbohydrates, things like cereal, things like white breads, tons of noodles and pasta. People crave those things because they're craving sugar. They're craving energy. Once you eliminate that, those cravings stop. I did a three-day raw diet, and what was so amazing is by day number two, how I wasn't craving anything, like nothing. Like I was just like, I'm good. Like I I'm cool. 
It was, and that was just a couple of days. So if you eat really clean, you'll eliminate cravings. You won't have those spikes of insulin and spikes of like, oh, I really just need something sugary. Eat lots of protein. Um, eat lots of healthy fats. So people think, oh, one, you know, misconception is I need to eliminate fats from my diet. You want to eliminate manufactured fats. But number four, actually on the list, so number one, good quality sleep. Number two is um, to exercise, specifically with compound exercises. Number three is a clean diet. And number four is to increase your fat intake. Now, trans fats is generally what we hear is bad fats are manufactured fats and they're unhealthy for you. These types of fats will increase the amount of body fat you carry and they're going to have the opposite effect of what you want. Overall, trans fats and manufactured foods should be avoided. You want to focus on natural fats, and natural fats can be split up into two groups, saturated and unsaturated fats. These types of fats are healthy for you and are crucial in providing you with the right and correct nutrients for optimal hormonal growth and health. These types of natural fats have been shown to spike testosterone, especially when it's coupled with these activities. So write this down. Exercise regularly and lift heavy weights. We've talked about that. Eat only natural fats and natural foods, so eliminating crap from your diet. Avoid preservatives and additives. Limit or eliminate alcohol, especially beer. So if you still have a glass of wine or you you know have some kind of drink, all right, and you're not willing to eliminate or part from that, Eliminate beer, especially. Uh, when you eat natural fats, it increases the amount of cholesterol, and testosterone is made from cholesterol. So the idea that cholesterol is bad is a myth. It's only bad for, well, when you're eating a lot of manufactured stuff, that's not good overall. And if you eat a lot of fats, but don't couple it with healthy exercise, good diet, and sleep, then it's not going to do, it's not going to have the effect you want. So you want to increase healthy fats like avocado. Something I've added is just an avocado on a piece of whole wheat bread. Uh, I have two pieces of whole bre wheat bread with a, a little bit of avocado. You could put a nice little sriracha sauce on it for some taste or some nice Italian spices, herbs, some oregano. Tastes really good. I put no butter on it. Uh, I uh, generally won't eat butter unless I can get natural butter. And there's reasons for that. I won't go into it in this video, but uh, you know that's the only way I'll do that. It's a really nice snack. Natural fats gives you a little bit of energy, and uh, and it's going to help you spike your testosterone as long as you're doing the other things. Now. You can go ahead and do many other things. Uh, and again, in my Powerhouse Man training, I go through a whole testosterone boosting training in, in our Pillar 2 section of the curriculum so that you can learn how to, uh, first of all, you learn about the three different types of testosterones, how to increase what's known as free testosterone in your system. And free testosterone is what you're going for if you want high-level performance both in and outside of the bedroom. And number seven, which is a contrast controversial one, but the studies back it up. Sex. Sex increases testosterone. Uh, sex is a, uh, uh, in both partners, by the way. In fact, uh, studies are shown that when uh, couples are more sexually active, both couples show an, a spike of testosterone on, on nights where physical activity happens. When there is no sex, so a sexless marriage, um, which many, many people are having right now, um, not only is there lower testosterone, uh, but there's also lack of intimacy, lack of passion, and this is why you have uh, many people doing uh, many things like turning to pornography or webcam girls or only fan girls simply to try to have some sense of connection. I love what they did in Russia, which was banned uh, the hub and said, go find and meet real people. And I back up the Russian people with that. <laughs> Go find and meet real people. Men, get good at talking to women again. Get good at dating. Get good at getting out there and being okay. Get good at handling rejection. Know what it's like to have a woman say no to you. Know what it's like to be rejected and be okay. 
okay with it. It is going to give you so much personal power and freedom. Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich, literally says men who are more sexed, meaning more engaged in sexual activity, are also generally more successful. And the reason that is, is it's highly linked with your testosterone levels. Now, I'm going to double down on this sex principle and say, have sex and have non-ejaculatory sex, which is what I teach inside of my sexual alchemy and powerhouse man training. When you can master your sexual energy so much to the point where you can have non-ejaculatory sex, not only are you going to spike your testosterone, but you're also going to retain your semen. So think about this. You are eating clean, so your body is operating op at an optimum level. You're having a great sex life, which means you're producing lots of testosterone. You are retaining your semen, which means you're keeping your best proteins, enzymes, and nutrients all circulating in your body. And you are getting good sleep. You are going to perform at an incredible level. This is going to help you increase your sales, increase your business. Your ambition is going to go through the roof. Your focus is going to go through the roof. Your determination, your overall ability to, to, to increase the five P's of masculinity. Five P's of masculinity. Protect, provide, produce, provoke, and power. The ability to get shit done and make things happen. You're going to have long-term vision. You're going to have patience to actually execute that long-term vision. You're going to develop in high self-esteem and confidence, which is going to impact your entire life at a positive level. If you're ready to power up and level up, then go to the link and make sure that you get on my schedule. I will take you through an overview of our Powerhouse Man curriculum and training program. This program is going to transform every aspect of your life, both in and outside the bedroom. And if you want more information about the process of transmutation, then go take the free S3X guide so you can get started in that free training today. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss a video. Leave comments below. I'll see you on the next video.